Hey guys, Rules for Rebels here with Side Hustle Tuesdays. Today is episode number 17, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the sound a little bit better. A couple of you guys had been requesting I up the sound quality, so I picked up a blue Nessie, uh, <laughs> trying to figure out what that is, a blue Nessie microphone. So you'll have to let me know if the sound quality is any better this week. Uh, so today's Side Hustle story is a fun one for a couple reasons. It's about a guy who never thought of himself as an entrepreneur who wound up falling into entrepreneurship purely through circumstance. It's also about two generations teaming up for an entrepreneurial venture, which I also thought was kind of cool. So the guy in today's story actually wound up teaming up with his father for this business. Now, this is actually pretty interesting in itself. I remember a while back I was reading an article in Forbes or one of those magazines about how baby boomers are starting to join the gig, gig economy and it suggested that they team up with their children or other young people to start a business and the article talked about how young people have the tech skills to set up websites and navigate the internet while the older generations have the life skills to actually conduct business so today's story is about todd pasica from eden prairie minnesota todd worked for the city with the highway department during the day and todd lived with his wife nicole and their dog jameson one night, Nicole suggested to Todd that they get a doggy door so Jameson could let himself out into their friend's backyard during the day while they were at work. So they searched online for a contractor. They called Home Depot looking for a quote on getting a doggy door installed. And the quotes ranged from $338 all the way up to $500. And they thought that was crazy. They weren't remodeling their bathroom. They were looking to cut a little hole in the door and put in a doggy door. And they felt those quotes were excessive. So Todd decided to give it a go himself. Uh, Todd had as assembled a few Ikea shelves in his day, but he was far from a handyman. But after seeing him struggle for a few hours, Nicole called Todd's dad. Todd's dad, Jim, came over, and in no time, they had the door installed. So Todd and Nicole went about their lives, and their dog, Jameson, enjoyed his new freedom in the backyard. And a couple weeks later, they had some friends over for dinner, and Nicole's friend had commented on a doggy door and thought it would be nice to have one for her dog. So Nicole wound up volunteering Todd to help her girlfriend install the door, and the second time around, things went much smoother. He had the door installed in less than an hour. Anyhow, this trend continued of friends liking the doggy doors, and while well, the friends started being, went from being friends of friends to not such close friends, Todd began charging $150 to install these doggy doors, which was still considerably cheaper than other people were doing it for. It got to the point where he could be in and out in less than an hour, so $150 an hour was a pretty good working wage for him. Todd never thought of this as a business, but word spread on Facebook and he started landing more and more jobs. He decided to throw up an ad up on Craigslist and got more jobs, then Thumbtack, more jobs. It began getting to the point where Todd couldn't fit all the jobs in on nights and weekends. Remember, Todd still had his, uh, his day job with the highway department. Todd wound up enlisting his father to do some jobs for him, and while Todd's dad was retired, he enjoyed the extra money, and it gave him something to do. Now, this business can only ever grow so big. There's only so many homeowners and dog owners in the Minneapolis suburbs who need doggy doors, but referrals and word of mouth keep them pretty busy, and with it being pretty much just Todd and his father, there's plenty of work to go around. And they each bring in about $1,500 or more a month extra by doing this little hustle. I asked Todd if he had any plans to scale or grow this business, and he said he and his father had looked into connecting with some other local handyman, so if they ever did get too busy, they could contract out some of the jobs. However, it hadn't gotten to that point yet, and he really didn't expect it to. Todd did mention, however, that he's currently in the process of trying to find a cheaper doggy door. If he could get the doors for cheaper, that would leave more profit for him and his father per install. He spoke with a few of the companies who sold doors he installed, and while a few gave him wholesale pricing, which wasn't even that much better than retail, others refused to give him wholesale pricing because he wasn't a licensed contractor and didn't have a brick and mortar store. So this led Todd uh, on a recommendation of a friend to check out Alibaba. We all know about Alibaba. Todd recently placed a small order and was pretty impressed with the quality of the doors. And for about a third of the cost of what he was paying at a big box store, uh, his supplier will also let him order as little as a dozen pieces at a time. Todd said he's thinking about selling his doors on Amazon. He said it's a better quality door than a lot of the other stuff out there on the market, and he can sell a quality door at a good price and still make a nice buck. He said he doesn't really view it as any risk either because he needs to keep these doors in stock for his own jobs and his own installs anyhow. So if an order happens to come through uh, on Amazon, he'll just ship it out of his own stock and reorder. 
So I'll have to revisit Todd in a few months and see how the Amazon business is going. But for now, Todd still works his 9 to 5 job with the highway department. But he enjoys the extra spending money. It helped pay for a fence he and his wife recently had installed. And he hired a contractor for that one. He's not quite that handy. Uh, and it also allowed them to take a much-needed vacation. What I really liked about today's story was that Todd never thought of himself as a business owner or an entrepreneur. It's an opportunity that you know really just fell into his lap through life experience, but he was smart enough to see that opportunity and run with it. He's making money, his father's making money and enjoying having something to do. I also thought this story was pretty cool because it involved two generations teaming up to start a business. As I mentioned a while back, I had read an article about this very thing. Todd had the computer skills to advertise on Facebook and Craigslist and down the road to venture onto Amazon. And his father had the life skills and the business skills and the handyman skills that Todd lacked. So it wound up being a pretty great partnership. Anyhow, guys, I thought this was a fun story and an inspiring one. I hope you did as well. Until next time, this is Rules for Rebels and Side Hustle Tuesdays signing off. I'll catch you guys on the next video.